Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today we have a special experiment going on, at least I'll try to do it. Uh, means loot from 144 Elder Burial Chambers. So that's a tier 16 map. So what I'm going to do is I prepared 144 maps with a Beyond. So that's super expensive to roll because the mod itself is actually pretty rare. So if we check here, Beyond, everything here has Beyond. It's like 144 maps. Uh, on top of that, uh, we are going to uh, get some uh, some fragments going to add additional quantity to the maps. Uh, we're going to reuse uh, hundreds of Saxtons trying to get fully juiced double beyond maps. And yeah, trying to check uh, how much uh, stuff we will get uh, in the progress, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one map. So the first map we are going to run together so you guys get an idea how this looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Saxtent uh, this Boreal Chamber. So I'm, I'm not the best at Saxtenting. Sometimes I skip important mods. So this is just the way I do it, right? So uh, I want to have the maximum amount of monsters on the map. Means I want to have additional monsters, additional pack size and so on. So we're going to see here... That's useless. I don't want to do Abyss because they they spawn so slowly. You know, with with my build, I want to go super, super fast. So waiting for the Abyss to spawn and crack up and so on, it's just a waste of time. So here we have mirrored rare ta uh, packs. So additional rare packs, that's good. So that's fine. So the next one is over here. Additional cold monsters, that's super good. So then we take Olmec Sanctum. Uh, that's not relevant here. Extra lightning, that's the same as the cold. Um, contain additional monsters that deal cold damage. So additional monsters, additional monsters. Here we have um, additional packs with rare mo uh, mobs. And then we're gonna go over here, take the last one. Rare maps contain additional rare monsters. So this looks pretty good. So all these sextants apply to this burial chamber now. So um, let's move uh, those back in here. Wait a sec, let me close the window. There is somebody freaking loading them on outside. So, uh, then we're gonna pick up this and that and three um, of these fragments here because I think like every single uh, gives five additional quantity to the map itself. So we're gonna use all of this. The map itself has already beyond. So we're gonna choose the beyond over here. So now it's a double beyond. So I'm running the Galaxy Ripper. If you're interested in what this build is like, it's basically an Eternity Shroud based uh, magic finder running like 65% quantity. So that's pretty nice. Uh, on the top of that, we have a double inspired learning going on. So let's see what the first map will bring. And I'm trying to make um, like a full loot table on what I get. I'm gonna talk like here, <laughs> actually sustaining already. Isn't that great, dude? So Beyond is the same, uh, like, breaches are the same thing as the uh, Abyss thing. Usually I, I'm not really caring about this. Because it just takes so long to actually spawn. Hey, double sustaining here. Isn't that good? So yeah, this is the actual movement speed you get once you run Beyond. It's getting super fast, super crazy here. And this is actually the playstyle I enjoy the most. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to pick up the most or the majority of the thing. Um, we're gonna go over... Hey, wait a sec. This is a big boss here. That's not a base cause. Yeah, you, you're gonna spawn a lot of beyond bosses, so they can be actually pretty deadly. Let's let's say it like that. Um, so let's go for the loot filter. I'm currently running the Never Sync on Uber Plus Strict, okay? This is like... It only shows the really important stuff. So no chromatics, no jewelers or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of jewelers just by having those six mobs. Shit, there is the big dude here. I'm scared of that dude, actually. That's the only Beyond boss that can actually kill me, the Abaxob dude. So, and yeah, we're just gonna run through here. Um, and I'm going to make a ride down. So I'm going to run all of these 144 maps on the stream today. And after the stream, I'll make part two, basically uh, telling you guys um, what I found, how much experience did I get, and so on. Because currently I'm level 97 on this character, so almost, yeah. Just leveled up yesterday on stream and then I stopped streaming, so now we're gonna go for like 98 or something. 
And the run is on for the level 100 grind. It's pretty insane, though. So, here we have some weird stuff here. Scarring, I'm gonna pick up that one here. Looks good. Dunes map. Hey, wait a second. I actually skipped the memory, right? God, I'm such a noob here. Let's kill the boss real quick. Ease clap. So, I actually have to run back now. Why did I miss the, the, the memory uh, sextant fr uh, thing here? The memory, the, the actual leak mechanic. Like, usually I, I sh would not skip that. It's just like, bad video showcase, bad player confirmed, basically. So, God, all my buffs are gone. Look at this reverse speed, basically. Holy shit, usually that wouldn't be that bad. Okay, let's kill up here real quick. Maybe some more maps. So we had like two burial chambers as sustaining, so that works out pretty fine. Maybe we get one more in here. And yeah, this is the, the test for today. I want to see how good is magic find, but in the other hand, it's a little bit unfair because I'm I'm running maps that are super expensive to roll. I'm running fragments and so on, so the investment in those maps is already super high, so even if I find the doctor, I'm not sure if I make profit at all. So yeah, picking up this here, this here, what is this? Just anything, not gonna pick up that here. And yeah, this is basically the outcome, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw everything into the quad tabs after I sold those six sockets, basically. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna do the whole day now, and in the end we're gonna have quad tap after quad tap after quad tap, full of loot, and I will give you the full amount of the outcome um, on this uh, small little journey. So, stream is on, and yeah, see you later. So guys, uh, back from streaming, so it's been roughly, um, what is the timer, 10 and a half hours, so I, uh, yeah, we did the stream like 5 minutes ago or so, so... Yeah, was doing about 10 hours straight burial chambers, and uh, yeah, I'm here with the final outcome and result. So it's actually not even 10 hours burial chambers because I did all the write down, I did a gambling in between, and so on. So yeah, let's take a look what we found. So loot part one. I had three quad steps, like uh, two of, one and a half of them were full. Sorry if I'm a little bit dizzy in my head, but yeah. Playing a lot, farming a lot, grinding a lot, like doing all the write downs and everything. It's just a little bit exhausting, as you can imagine. So, yeah, this is the outcome. Like, a uh, shitload of stuff everywhere. We found three Doctor cards uh, one the Hoarder, two Might of the Meeks, um, a bazillion maps. And yeah, probably it's the best way to just uh, pull this one up here. Because I actually made all the write down. Like, um, the amount of how many of we got from the different st uh, stuff here, the estimated price from today, and about the actual outcome here, right? So yeah, we found like 27 of these, uh, 300 cartographers, zero exalts, which is kind of weird, uh, despite having three doctor cards and zero exalted orbs, like that's actually weird. Maybe uh, some of the other guys just randomly stole that, while well, I didn't even see that, but... It's just unlucky, I guess. Uh, then we had like 190 Chaos Orbs, so like almost 10 Divine Orbs. 3,700 Jula Orbs, not by picking up, just by selling 6 socket items. A shitload of Fusings, Scourings, Regrets, a bunch of Sextants. Uh, then in terms of maps, we had like 37 uh, Tier 11 maps. Uh, 41, 47 and 124 Elder maps in return, right? So, if we go here, tier 16, everything sorted up properly. Wait a second, tier 16, there you go. So, we ran 144 burial chambers, and I got back a 124. So, almost sustaining, almost. Kind of hard, but still almost sustaining. Uh, I have here just an average price, right? Just an, I just price checked like a couple of maps here, uh, 11, and then I said like, okay, the majority is 1.5. I know there is other maps. Um, if you're gonna say like a tower map, right? I will the three tower maps here. They are going for more than I priced here, right? Some are going lower, some are higher. I just made like an, an average price of something, right? If you really do min-maxing and write down every single map, dude, I would sit here till tomorrow. So it's just like, 
a fun thing to do, right? Running 144 uh, Burial Chambers, um, depending on my loot filter, I'm just going to write down what I found, the estimated price. So this may vary by like five exalts plus minus or something. I don't know. Like I'm not even, I'm, I'm like super lazy or at least like I'm super exhausted. You probably see that already. Um, and yeah, so this is the estimated price. Then we have, as I said, Doctor Cards three, um, the Celestial Stone that can came out from a Divination box, right? I think I have it somewhere here. That's the level one hundred Opal Ring that sells for one Exalt. Um, then we have two Might of the Meeks and one Horda card. So I would say a total of we farmed about fifty three Exalts today. Which sounds actually pretty insane, but I'm I haven't counted in everything I spent. I was writing down 144 maps, 144 times for um for the chisels, right? Four chaos for each time rolling beyond. Um, more than a thousand five hundred chaos just by spamming the maps to roll beyond. Um, then I had about I think like. 1,500 chaos in terms of Saxtons. Like, I, I burned down a shitload of Saxtons. If you remember uh, how much I had, I had like 400 Journeymans. I had like uh, more than 100 Red Saxtons, more than 200 Apprentice. So, I mean, I got some of them back, but I'm pretty sure that maybe I'm pretty much even, I would say. And I have to admit... Uh, I was running the first like 20, 30 maps alone. Then one of the viewers uh, says like, yeah, he has an aura bot. If, if he can join, leech some experience, right? So I was like, yeah, never mind. Just um, join in. We farm together then for like uh, another 60, 70, 80 maps or so. Uh, the way we did it, he was just like running around being an aura bot, right? So this is basically two player quantity from that point on. Uh, and he picked up every single loot, and after, like, every time, like, um, you Saxon maps, they, they count for three uh, turns, right? So every after three maps, uh, we actually made a payout. Basically, he gave me all he just picked up, so I have the final result over here. And after, like, a hundred maps, uh, there was an, a curse bot asking if he can join for some uh, free experience. So we ran, like, I think, like, a 20, 20 maps or so as three player. And then the curse, the aura bot left. So I farmed the rest of the maps with the curse bot. So that also varies if I farm solo or two player mode uh, and so on. So I'm pretty sure if we would do this as a six man group all day long with monstrous treasure, with all kinds of prophecies and that stuff, I'm pretty sure we could have done one hat hunter for today. I'm pretty sure about that. I remember farming um, with a full group in the start, like, uh, I don't know if you remember, it was last league, um, a, f a couple of friends of mine, they are doing this, like, every single league for the first 14 days, non-stop, six-man party, Elder Burial Chambers, uh, and they farm up, like, I think, like, 14 or 15 mirrors, not hat hunters, mirrors in, like, two weeks, and then they stop for the league and do fancy builds, do gamblings, whatever they do with all the currency, um, so I definitely know they have like one exalt per map investment, but I think they find like a doctor every second or third map. So they finish like one or two hat hunters every single day. That's like insane, right? And they do like two or three level 100s and then they're good. So that's the today's outcome. Um, I'm running double beyond means the best experience, but not the best drops, right? So um, I started level 97, as you can remember. Now I'm 98.3. I'm like 29%. Yeah, almost 0.3. Um, so yeah, more got more than a level. Died five times, I think. So GGG, please nerf volatile deaths. Um, please nerf ice nova from chests. Dude, these things one-shot you if you're not having enough headhunter buffs to run around with like 100,000 energy shield. Yes, I'm rest capped over here. Uh, still getting one shot. It's like insane. So, yeah, it was a fun experiment. Nevertheless, um, the level 100 grind in Burial Chambers is still on. I'm not entirely sure if I can do it or not. I mean, it's the it's day three, right? I have a play time of uh, one day and 20 hours, and I'm already 98 point something. But you still have to imagine. Wait a second. Level one till level 98 is the same experience amount, like all together as from 98 to level 100. So basically that means I'm actually like halfway, a little bit more than halfway through the experience. So probably it's like two more days of grinding to hit level 100, but the, the problem is once you die, like the 10% experience you lose, uh, above level 95, I would say that hurts, right? 
I remember when I was like 92 or so, I got like I don't know, more than 10% per map to grind this experience up, right? So if I die, I was like, yeah, probably one or two maps more to run. Not a big deal. Now with level 98, I have to run kind of more maps to get those 10% back, right? So I imagine once you're level 99 and you die like... Like, let's say you run double beyond, right? You, you charge into the map, you kill the first couple packs, and then Abaxot spawns and just one-shots you because you're not having enough Headhunter buffs. That happens, it happened today as well, so... We're gonna see how this uh, how this one will work out in the future. So yeah, I think I'm off now. I need to render this video like full-time streamer, full-time YouTuber. It's actually insane in terms of the time you're gonna spend every single day. So I would appreciate if you like this video, if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel and yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.